Okay, so you want to do voiceover. You've heard that people make a million dollars in their pajamas. You know, I'm a working voiceover talent. I am not the most successful. There are people who are on all kinds of recognizable animated programs. If that's your dream, I may not be the best person to give you advice about that. But if you are somebody living in the middle of the country and you've heard that you can do voiceover from home, that's who I'd like to focus this video towards. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. So there are three skill sets that you will need to devote yourself to continuing to improve upon if you want to be a work from home voiceover talent. Number one is the voice acting. So a lot of people think somehow that voiceover doesn't require acting and that is absolutely not true. Voiceover is voice acting. It is acting for the mic. Even if you're doing a tutorial, even if you're doing a training video, if you are asked to change the tone of that video, if that client wants you to be able to engage with your listener, it's your acting, your ability to authentically convey and communicate emotion in your voice, which is going to allow you to do that. So the acting part of it and learning voiceover te technique and learning how to act for the microphone in addition to improving your speech if need be, the, this is all what I'm putting under the umbrella of voice acting. And yes, that is not something where you just take one class and you're done. I'm, you know, almost a decade into my career as a voiceover talent and I still take workshops. I'm taking one later this month. Um, and I'm constantly taking classes and challenging myself and thinking about ways that I can improve. And if you think about working actors, you know, they're always in and out of scene study classes, right? They want to make sure they don't get rusty. Acting is one of those skill sets where you have to stay activated in it. And so voiceover acting is the same. So that number one area that you will have to master is voice acting. Number two, you hopefully are comfortable with technology. That means understanding and learning about audio equipment and recording equipment, understanding and learning how to build a home studio, the components that go into it. You need to have an understanding of how to record yourself, how to edit yourself in a way that makes you competitive. And yes, it is a very, very competitive, very saturated industry. So being half-assed about it, it's not going to work. The third and final piece of the puzzle, and I will tell you, this is the area where most people who say they want to do voiceover, this is the area that trips them up. It is the business and marketing side. So when you decide to become a voiceover talent, you're essentially deciding to open up your own small business. And so, you know, think about it that way. If you were going to open up a brick and mortar store, you would have to think about the branding of that store, what your logo is going to look like, how you're going to promote yourself in the community, how you're going to stand out from all of the other stores that offer something similar, right? Um, how you're going to get that information out there that you're there, right? To try to get customers. Well, it's very similar with voiceover. You have to actively go out there and promote your brand and find your customers. And so a lot of people I think are not prepared for that part. And that is a very, very large part of the job, right? People might see a documentary about people doing voices for cartoons and it might sound like a really cool, fun job or even, you know, maybe people want to do something a little more technical like telephone systems, you know, or training videos and they're fine doing that kind of stuff. They just want something that is satisfying that they can do from home. But again, in order to let people know that you have this service, you do have to very actively go out there and market your business and create a business plan. So those, I think, kind of cover the three very broad areas that you are constantly sort of working on as a working voiceover talent. So 
I hope that helped you out if if it is an industry you've been curious about uh, you know I know a lot of people sometimes they want a career change and that idea of working from home sounds appealing and I just wanted to give you the the real deal the the realistic picture of what that entails but if you have any questions go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see more videos on this topic I do plan to talk more about voiceover since that is what I do and in my YouTube channel I haven't really spoken too much about it uh, and I know I've had some people ask me about it so I thought I should start making more videos uh, on this subject but comment below please go ahead and become a subscriber hit the subscribe button which should be here or is it here I, when i get it into my edit i it looks different anyway um thanks so much